Welcome back to the final part of our interview with veteran actress and producer Kuti Padmini. In this segment, we will be delving into crucial topics like the need for proper directives and policies in the film industry, being the need of the hour, and how that could lead to better working conditions and practices. She talks about how this is both important and necessary for the future of all the industries. Stay tuned as we explore the potential impact of formalizing the film industry. Then apart from the sexual harassment issues, the report also talks about uh, issues like lack of basic facilities, toilets, ch changing issues, those things. So how are these uh, these facilities issues in the Tamil industry? Do you also Tamil, face... They sought it uh, in Tamil when this uh, we brought to the notice of uh, uh, President Nazar and uh, Secretary Vishal and uh, Karthik uh, in the previous five years back when we brought this to them. They immediately arranged in all the shoot, the... Uh, mobile uh, toilets where they come for the women they arranged but then it was not sufficient because they used to bring two or three and there used to be 100 women on the you understand no? nowadays a lot of crowd is there in all the films so it became yeah. very difficult but at least something was there and the nearby houses they used to arrange for them to change dress otherwise nobody bothered about them they have to go and change as it is like how those days me jelta ma'am all used to change behind a tree or two people will hold a sari and we will change inside that. So things are still used to happen like that, but now it is changing. Tamil, at least, definitely these people, uh, this Nadigat Sangma arranged for all that. That's a great thing. Then. And man, what about issues like uh, pay disparity, contract issues? These are also things that are uh, very much prevalent usually in the industry. So I've heard actresses coming out and say they'll be fixing on one amount. But as the shooting progresses, when they ask for their uh, remuneration, the amount will become less or they are not paid what they were promised. So these kind of yeah. issues. Are... For this only last week, they had a meeting in Nadiya Sangam. So Nadiya Sangam has told, they have fixed all the remunerations for each and every person. And they have told if anybody is not paid immediately to give a written complaint. So that they will take action. And mostly what happens, you know, if you go and tell anybody, let us say there is somebody, a very big actress is there in the character role. Like, let's say like Charanya Madam. They go and talk to Charanya that you are playing the mother of the you know hero character and we need minimum 10 days. Because less than 10 days, they will not accept to act. But actually, there will be only two days. Okay. They won't tell that. Okay, many some producers. So they will agree to act. Then 10 days, it will be a daily payment. Mm -hmm. So if, if there are no two days, they will ask more money. So they would have, or they would reject the role. So they won't tell them the truth. They'll tell them 10 days or so 10 days, okay, per day into 5 lakhs or 10 lakhs. So I'm getting 1 crore for my role. Mm -hmm. But after 2 days, they'll be never called. Suddenly the movie announcement will come. Releasing on such and such a date. And they don't give contracts also. So now Nadike Sangam has very clearly said, every actor should enter into an agreement. That they will prepare an agreement. Nadike Sangam is going to prepare an agreement. And that has to be entered with the producer and a copy has to be with the Nadia Sangam. So they are making some good changes. Yeah, This also applies not only to the acting uh, uh, actors or the artists uh, working in the movies, but the technicians also. So something oh, yeah. that was organized by other... All of uh, us used to have so many checks here. My mother used to have one drawer full of checks, bounce checks. <laughs> you can't do anything. Yeah, these are the issues. But nowadays, I think at least now they should you know, bring in some sort of a regulation so yeah. that these things happen. Ma'am, do you think a collective like WCC, if it happens in Tamil industry, would it be a good thing? So that people may, you know, women can come so out. Definitely. And definitely. Not only for Tamil industry, it should happen in uh, entire, wherever the film industry is there. And also you should join schools in this. You should join uh, colleges. You should, uh, all institutions should have, like, you know, uh, uh, different department and all, instead of women commission keeping separately, all those top names should be here. Government uh, should actually, like a lot of people are actually asking for this now, that the government should recognize the film industry as a proper industry and then bring in some sort of a regulation or some policies so that, you know, this will uh, go in a streamlined way, the film industry, the cinema industry as a whole. Do you think that something like, like that might work to solve Absolutely, all these issues? Absolutely, it's correct. Absolutely, it has to be done because today the very big revenue is coming from film industry. So if you take the total revenue, you can't uh, neglect it, right? It, yes. Take the entire whole uh, India's film industry. Don't say yes. Tamil or Telugu. Make it full. There are more than 1,000 movies are made. What is the yes. kind of uh, GST 
and uh, local theatre tax and how much money artists from them and how much tedious money. So government is definitely earning a huge chunk of money. So this is an industry. It has to be, you know, identified. All the rules set are kept for the other industry should be brought here also. And there should be a big, good HR, you know, eight, nine HR departments where people can go and give their problem, explain to them. You know, a lot of, see, today, a lot of women are coming for editing, coming for camera. Behind the screen, plenty of women have come forward. Now, whole night they are editing and, and they have to go home by night, two o'clock or three o'clock in their scooty. Everybody won't mm. have a car to go, no? So what is yeah. the safety? Or otherwise they have to sleep in the night in the office. A sleeping night in the office after what happened in Calcutta, all yes. women will be terrorized. Okay, which woman can, can sleep in an office in the night? Even though she trusts everybody, she knows everybody are her friends. But this nobody expected, no? So I think uh, it has to be, uh, you know, uh, taken industry has to become as one of the film industry should be also legalized and taken into the government fold. A lot of good uh, governance should be brought in. So that, you know, we can also put our head, you know, head high and we also can work. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, thank you so much for taking this time out of your very busy thank day. Thank you, Amita. No, no, I would love to always, I love to support women. In fact, in my uh, production company, uh, I would say that 60% are women. So I would love to always support them and, you know, be for them. I've always raised my voice. Let it be Kala Chetra issue or let it be uh, Padma Sheshadri school, any school. I'm ready to come forward as a mother and, you know, protect them. So I really wish changes happen very soon. Yes, Thank you. Thank you so much.